In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a cardboard box and turn it into a soft box that can be used with a speed light that's perfect for tabletop macro photography. So the first step is going to be to tape up one end of the box. I'm using packaging tape. But duct tape would work just as well. Now that the box is taped up, I'm going to make a hole in the back for the head of the speed light. To do that, line the speed light up, take a box cutter, pop it in there, and cut a rough hole. You want to aim for the hole to be smaller than the head of the speed light so you can come back and adjust it larger to get a perfect fit. Beautiful. And we'll test the fit. Doesn't quite fit. Needs to be a little wider. Perfect. Once the hole's cut, I want to trim one of the tabs off to provide the bottom of the softbox. Then fold over the other tabs, and place and tape them around. Now that we've got the box all set up, there's two options. One is to use some aluminum foil tape that can be found at any hardware store in the ducting section. Cut strips out and tape them into the inside of the box. That's what I did with the first box that I made into a soft box. And then I was like, that takes a long time and it's kind of a lot of work considering it's a cardboard box. The other option, use some spray paint and just blast the entire box it won't matter, doesn't have to be pretty, and it's much faster. I use some Kills primer, but Rust-Oleum, Krylon, whatever you can get your hands on will work. And this is the result I got, a beautiful white box. For front diffusion material, you have a few options. I've used tracing paper, because it does a great job. But you just as soon use a normal sheet of paper. Here I have some foam packing material. Just as it is, not so great. Doubled over, does a pretty good job. So now that you've got your soft box and diffusion material in place, it's time to set up a shot. Take my speed light, got a little stand. This one has some wonderful Velcro around it. White to do an extra great job of reflecting light. Shove it in there. Got the soft box in place. Next, we're going to set up our subject. This beautiful watch. Going to go with some rim lighting. So we got a flag in place. Cause the light to wrap around, give some nice edge lighting to the watch. Bring in the camera. Take off the lens cap. And frame everything up. Gone and put a sheet of paper onto the lens cap with some tape to bring in a little fill light for the face of the watch. So the final step is going to bring some foam core board in over top to act as a fill. So I will kill the lights. Bring it over top. Perfect. And that's it. A few dollars worth of materials, you can have a softbox 
that will allow you to do great macro photography. If you found this helpful, click subscribe and there will be more great videos on other things you can do with a cardboard box.